Good morning class. Today the subject of our lesson is to learn how to use our pronouns and our pronoun references correctly in English. In English we use a lot of pronouns for efficiency, to avoid repetition. If we're telling a story, as Per will tell you a story, she often uses pronouns so she doesn't have to repeat, keep repeating the nouns to which she is referring. So pronouns replace nouns. They must agree in number. If, they're, if the noun is singular, the pronoun must also be singular. Singular pronouns in the subject, I, you, he, she or it. The pronouns <coughs> must also relate to the gender, he, she or it. If we're talking about a thing, that is the car, we'll use it as a pronoun thing. <coughs> if we're talking about a boy, the boy, we're going to use he, we're talking about the girl, we're going to use she in the singular. In the plural, the subject pronouns are we, you and they. You'll notice the pearl often includes herself in a group, so she will be talking about we. You is in the plural, or if she's just talking about people, what people are doing, they. I'll also point out where the nouns or the pronouns are in the object case. Me, you, him, her or it is in the singular. Us, you or them is an object pronoun in the plural case. As I keep reminding you, it's very important in English to be in control of the subject in your sentence. The subject controls the verb. If you don't have a subject-verb combination in a sentence, we can often start to make quite a few grammatical errors. In fact, some of the most common grammatical errors occur in English because we are losing control of our subject. Let's see how we go, class. I hope you enjoy Pearl's story of her visit to sunny Queensland which is a very lovely part of Australia. Let me tell you about my holiday with my brothers to sunny Queensland. I am on a ship with my brothers and my dad. We sit at the front of it. Kate, Jack and I take photos. We are smiling. People swim in the water. They look at the fish. My brothers and I swim in the rock pool. It is very cold. My brothers stand on the rocks. They take photos. The girl sits on the rock. She eats the watermelon. It is half eaten. I swim to the other side and climb the rock. It is slippery. My dad reads the sign. It says, danger. Luke looks at his photos. He is very happy. The barge crosses the river. It carries a lot of cars. The woman opens the gate. She moves the pole. I pick up the butterfly. It sticks to my finger. The woman holds the snake. It is wrapped around her neck. 
She smiles at the camera. The man climbs down the rock. He hangs on the rope. He slips and slides. My brother and I sit on the rock bench. We eat our lunch. The train arrives at the station. It travels slowly. The passengers walk to the fence. They take photos of the waterfall. It is steep and beautiful. Hello students, I hope you enjoyed Pearl's story about her visit to sunny Queensland. It's certainly a beautiful place of Australia. Let's go through her sentences and make sure that she's using her pronoun references correctly. Number one, I am on a ship with my brothers and my dad. Notice the I is the first person pronoun. Singular, it's only one person I. But when she's referring to herself, my brothers and my dad, this is a plural, it is a group of people. Pearl is including herself in the group of people, so we need we. We sit at the front of him, it or they. This is replacing the ship. The ship is the object. We need a pronoun thing. Singular, there's only one ship. So we sit at the front of it. Number two, Kate, Jack and I take photos. We are smiling. Once again, Pearl is including herself in the group. We, because it's plural and it's first person, Pearl included, we are smiling. Number three, people swim in the water. Notice people is the subject. We need a subject pronoun, it is plural. There are a lot of people, there's more than one. We take they. They swim in the water. If we wanted to replace the water, we would need an object pronoun. It is a thing. It is singular in English. It is it. They swim in it. They look at the fish. Once again, they is the subject of the sentence because it is they who are looking. What are they looking at? The fish is the object. In English, the fish can either be singular or plural, depends on how many fish we're looking at. In this case, if they're just looking at one fish, we would say they look at it. But there are a lot of fish in this beautiful part of the ocean, so they look at them. Them is an object. It is plural, it is referring to the fish, it is referring to a lot of fish. Number four, my brothers and I swim in the rock pool. It, him, they, we, it's very cold. Pearl is talking about the rock pool. The rock pool is singular, there's one. It's it, it's a thing we need. It is very cold. Number five, my brothers stand on the rocks. My brothers, he, we or they, my brothers is plural, third person, subject, we need they take photos. Notice there is no S because it is in the third person, simple present tense. My brothers stand, they take photos. The girl sits on the rock. The girl, she or it, is singular, she, a girl. She eats the watermelon. Notice we've got the S in both cases, simple present tense because third person singular eats the watermelon. In this case, it is half eaten, it or they, he, she or it. It is referring to the watermelon. It is half eaten. Number seven, I swim to the other side and climb on the rock. It or they is slippery. Pearl is referring to the rock. It is singular. 
third person, a thing, so we need it is slippery. My dad reads the sign. It or they, he says danger. The sign, third person, it is a thing we need. It says danger. Number nine, Luke looks at his photos. He, they or it is very happy. We need a pronoun to replace Luke. Luke is a third person, boy, male, we need he. He is very happy. If we had he looks at his photos, his photos is the object. Luke is the subject, his photos is the object here. We would replace his photos, plural, with them. Notice once again the Luke looks, we have the S in the present simple tense, looks. The number 10, the barge crosses the river. It, they or we, carries a lot of cars. The barge, third person, singular, we need the pronoun it, carries a lot of cars. Once again, crosses and carries, we've got the S in the third person, simple present tense. The barge, so we've got it, crosses, if we were replacing the river, we would also have it. It carries a lot of cars, we would replace that, an object with plural, them. Number 11, the woman opens the gate. He or she moves the pole. The woman becomes she, we're referring to what she is doing. She moves the pole. If we wanted to replace the pole, it would be it as an object. The gate would also be object, it, a thing. Notice once again, we've both got the S in the third person singular, simple present tense. Number 12, I pick up the butterfly. It, he or they, sticks to my finger. Pearl is referring to herself. I, in the first person, singular. Pick up the butterfly, but it sticks to my finger. We clearly need that it refers to the butterfly. The butterfly becomes the subject. It sticks to my finger. Sticks once again with the Third person, S, singular, present tense. If we wanted to replace my finger, third person object, it sticks to it. Number 13, the woman holds the snake. The woman, it, they or he is wrapped around her neck. We're referring to the snake is wrapped around her neck. The snake is it, third person, singular. This is the subject of the sentence. It is wrapped around her neck. Her neck would become the object. It would be it. He or she smiles at the camera. We're talking about the woman here. The woman, she smiles at the camera. Notice the woman holds and the woman smiles. Present tense. We're having an S, simple present tense. He, she smiles at the camera if we wanted to replace the camera, which is the object, third person, thing, it would be it. Number 14, the man climbs down the rock. He, it or they, hangs on the rope. We're talking about the man, we're replacing the man. We need he, masculine, third person, singular, it's the subject pronoun, he hangs on the rope. If we wanted to replace the rope, the thing, object, it's singular, it. But he, she or it slips and slides. We're referring to the man again here. So the man would once again be he slips and slides. Notice in each case we've got the S ending. Simple 
present tense. So the man climbs, he hangs, he slips and slides. Number 15. My brothers and I sit on the rock bench. We, or they, eat our lunch. Pearl is including herself in a small group. So it's first person, we eat our lunch. If we wanted to replace the rock bench, it is a singular third person, it. We sit on it. We eat our lunch. Once again, it's an object, it's a thing, it's singular, we eat it. Notice sit and eat, plural, present tense, simple present tense, plural does not take an S. Number 16, the train arrives at the station. It, he or they travels slowly. That we're referring to the train. It is a thing. It travels slowly. Notice once again, it's present tense, arrives and travels. If we wanted to replace the at the station, the train arrives at the station, object, it's a thing, it's in the singular. The train arrives at it. Number 17, the passengers walk to the fence. We, they, they or he take photos of the waterfall. It, he or she is steep and beautiful. The passengers is the subject. It's the passengers who are taking the photos, so we need they take photos of the waterfall, plural. Notice we've got the take and the walk, two present tense, simple tense verbs. So we've got number 17, the passengers walk to the fence, they take photos of the waterfall, they is referring to the passengers, it's plural. Both of these walk and take are in the simple present tense, they do not have an S. It or she or he is steep and beautiful, we're referring to the waterfall. The waterfall is a thing, it's singular, it's a subject pronoun, it is it is steep and beautiful. Once again the passengers walk to the fence, we could replace the fence object singular thing with it and once again we replace the waterfall with the thing it in the in the singular pronoun there. I hope you have managed to get all your pronoun references right as you have listened to Pearl's small story of her visit to sunny Queensland.